Hey, everyone, it's my turn to make some lists, and I want to take a moment to thank Zach Martin 3006 for this idea. As soon as we saw it, we all knew we had to rank some Pop-Tart flavors because they are delicious as hell. And I think I am a connoisseur of the tarts that pop. Yeah, you're a huge tart, a big friggin' retard if you ask me. I've never seen someone as tarted as you. Oh, gee whiz, thanks, Donnie. Joey, you know that? Never mind, you'd be happier without knowing, but please enlighten us with your list, Joey. Oh yeah, time to get epic. Anyways, first and foremost, I feel like we have to put blueberry in A tier. Personally, when I think of Pop-Tart, I think of blueberry, but I don't think it's the best flavor, if that makes sense. I totally get that. Whenever you see Pop-Tarts, you always see a blueberry. It's a great, safe option. You know, Joey, I figured that you'd pick a fruit-flavored one and put it high. You always seemed like a fruity guy. I am a fruity guy. I like to think I'm the fruitiest guy I know. Thanks for being so nice to me today, Donald. I really didn't expect it. Moving on, we got brown sugar up next, and that's a solid A tier as well. People be sleeping on brown sugar, but I think it's another safe option again, and it's good. Joe, this is an okay choice. I agree. People sleep on brown sugar, but it probably could have gone in B tier. Nah, trust me. Just let me cook on this one. With my next entry, I'm putting cherry in C tier. What the hell, Joey? I don't think it's that bad. Isn't it basically the same as blueberry? No, you freaking buffoon. It is not the same. You guys ever compare a real cherry to artificial cherry-flavored things? They are not the same, and I, for one, am a hater of artificial cherry. I do not want that Pop-Tart, but if it's there, I will eat it. It will remain in C tier. Can't really disagree as I never had cherry Pop-Tarts. I'm just used to popping them. Gross, Donald, but Joe, what about everyone else who likes cherry-flavored things? Fuck them. Anywho, I got chocolate cookie dough and chocolate chip both in B tier. They are better than cherry, and I love chocolate. Call me the chocolate man, I'd be eating dookie like it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Joe, listen to half the shit you say. It either makes no sense or you somehow in your dementia-ridden head believe it to be cool. Just let Joey be himself, Donnie, but these are solid selections for B tier. I'm just keeping my eye out for this one particular chocolate flavor. Is it the chocolate fudge Pop-Tart? Because that is going straight to A tier. Like I said, I am the chocolate man and I think this is better than the other two. Okay, that's more valid than what you did to the cherry-flavored Pop-Tarts. Are we still going on about that? Jeez. Next, you'll say that the confetti-flavored Pop-Tarts are good, but they're actually garbage and go in D tier. Sleepy Joe wakes up from his slumber, I agree. Anyone that likes confetti or shit with a ton of sprinkles must have a hole in their brain. I am not a fan of birthday-flavored things and this confetti cupcake one. They are scamming you, America, with this lazily-flavored product. What if I like that flavor, guys? You deserve the absolute worst in life if you do. Like that flavor is stinky as hell. And if you like it, then you must be a stinky person. Anyways, don't worry, everyone. We'll wash our brains of that with our first S tier. And that is the cookies and cream. These are so appetizing. I will absolutely get on my hands and knees for this flavor. This biracial flavor is a bop. I am a huge fan as well. W of a choice here, Joey. I don't get it. If you're a fan of cookies and cream, why not just get Oreos? They taste exactly the same. No, they do not, Donald, you freaking Neanderthal. There is a very clear difference only the most elevated of Pop-Tart eaters will know. Up next, we have another banger, and that is the hot fudge sundae flavor. Oh my God, this can bring tears to my eye from how good it is, but it's not in the elite section. I'm only holding two flavors up there. Joe, never call me that again. So we know cookies and cream are there, but what the hell could the other one be, Joey? Patience, Donnie. Up next, we got raspberry, and I'm going to be honest, I like it, but I prefer strawberry. So I'm putting this in B tier. I feel like it's an honest placement for it because everyone likes strawberries more. Way to assume there, Joey. What about the people that prefer raspberries over strawberries? And what about those innocent kids that you blew up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Never question me again, Barry. Next, we got red velvet going at C tier, and it's an okay flavor. I much rather have the next flavor, and that is the s'mores Pop-Tarts which are going in A tier. These are good as hell, and the marshmallow and chocolate flavors make for an elite Pop-Tart. So now that we got that out, we can assume that your sleepy ass put strawberry in A tier as well, since you put raspberry in B and said strawberry was better. Donald, what the heck, man? This is my list, and I get to rate them. But yeah, they go in A tier, but I bet you won't guess where the unfrosted ones go. Your old shriveled shrinky dinky ass would probably like these unflavored messes. Wrong, Donald. I actually have all three in F tier as they taste like doo-doo fart. And I am not a fan of them at all. Give me all the sweet stuff, even if it gives me diarrhea. Which directly leads us to the finale, the magnum opus of sweet Pop-Tarts. And that is the wild berry flavor. I would sacrifice one of my kids for this Pop-Tart. 
Now, Joe, we know how much you like Pop-Tarts, but that's a pretty insensitive thing to say. How could you get rid of any of your precious kids? This fucker is just using that as an excuse to get rid of Hunter, I bet. Well, as the great Drewski once said, you got me. <laughs> <laughs>